Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Assetto Corsa. I'm KPG Guna here and in today's episode we're testing out another vehicle from the Japanese car pack. So we're going to be testing out the Toyota Supra and uh, the track I've chosen is this Netherlands track and I haven't tried this track before. So uh, we're going to jump into a race. So this is the specs of the car. Now this uh, Supra has got 690 brake horsepower so it has quite a bit of power. So hopefully this should be a good race. We're going to leave it on hard five laps. Uh, we we'll leave it on the factory settings as well. This is the first experience. I'm not sure how this car is going to be. Uh, we'll try our best. Let's get straight into it, guys, and hope for a good race. So here we go. Right, so here we go with our first experience in the Toyota Supra around this Netherlands circuit. Let's see if we can get a good start. We start right at the back of the grid. Uh, there's 11 cars in this race. Let's see if we can get a good result. Right, and everyone's leaving me off the start. Uh, loads of wheel spin. The old traction control is kicking in. It's on the factory settings. I'm not sure what this car would handle without traction control. Slow it down. Oh, this is a tight turn. Oh, bloody hell, this is really tight. There's going to be a lot of contact going through here. I don't want to get smashed off the track on the first lap. Let's just try and just hold back. We're in P9 at the moment. Let's just let them sort of smash each other out the way. Look at loads of contact that's going around the outside. And I like the sound of the turbo kicking in on this car. You see all the flames coming out of this exhaust. Let's try and squeeze through. And we managed to squeeze through without getting uh, knocked off the track. And we've managed to take a few places up to P6 already. That's a good start. Now, this should actually slow down the race a little bit uh, on the tight circuit. Let's just see where it goes. So it's going to the right. Let's try and just uh, stay in touch with these cars in front and see if anyone else uh, makes any mistakes. No, they're holding their own. They're all fighting. Oh, those two had a little bit of a knock there, and I've managed to squeeze past them as well. Up to P4. Bloody P4 already. That's not a bad start, but the leader of the uh, race is really starting to pull away. So we're going to have to try and get past these two if we can. Oh, it's a nice slow turn here. Slow it down. God, dear, the traction control's really, really kicking in. Uh, it's definitely one of these vehicles that you don't actually want to drive with traction control because it's actually preventing this car from spinning up and pulling off really quick as soon as that turbo kicks in so we're definitely gonna have to try this vehicle without that on but uh, we'll just get used to it first it's it does uh, have a little bit lack of grip in the corners oh it's slow try to squeeze past there but i couldn't get past i have to slow it right there let's see if we can go on the outside as you really have to wait till you find the grip before you can put your foot down Right, let's try and accelerate. Can we get past him in this corner? No, we're slowed down. He's going to turn really tight onto the apex there. Let's just stay behind him. This has been a good start in the first lap. We're up to P3. Uh, as long as we don't crash off or got, get smashed off by one of the cars behind us, we should be okay. But the leader of the race is really, really pulled away. So it, it looks like we'll be battling for a second place in this race unless we can get past this car can we get past him here slow it down get a nice tight line i think we should squeeze past right onto the curb there and we squeeze past awesome so we're up to p2 but he's really close behind me so we've got to be careful he doesn't shunt me off the track slow it down take it nice and easy just drop it down into a lower gear as we go around the corner and up the hill and again that traction control is going off like mad this car really I think uh, um, for first, first experience, you definitely need it on the factory settings, but I definitely, like I said, we're definitely going to try it without and see what it's like. It's pretty uh, really hard to handle as we try and fire it up the hill. Oh, that was a lot quicker through there. Try and get it nice and tight so we can sort of open this car out now So because we, we haven't got any vehicles in front of us. Let's see, if, see what this thing's like. Oh, my God, this is, thing is pretty damn quick. Once you get the grip and stop the wheels from spinning up, Right, let's try and catch the leader if we can. Get nice and tight into that section. Really have to slow down through there. Feeling the, the car sliding a little bit. It's not the most grippiest vehicle on first experience. But it's, it's, it's controllable. It's stable enough to have a decent race on the factory settings. Right, let's see if we can catch this car up in this section. I think this is what's that slow corner. It's got to slow it down. Oh, God, the ABS is kicking in. I think the wheel's locked up a little bit there. Oh. God, stay on the track. Oh, onto the curb there. That's okay. So we managed to get round and we are closing the gap and we've managed to pull away from the car behind us as well. So we are improving. Let's see if we can put in some fast laps and start. Now we know the circuit. I think we sort of know where we can push this car now. So let's see if we can go a little bit faster uh, on the third lap. Right, that's open this thing out. It's definitely a quick car. I'm not sure what the top end's like. Don't think it listed it in the specs. 
but um, I think the turbo set on uh, um, 60 percent so you can muck around with uh, and adjust these turbos if you if, if you want to set it up a little bit different oh and we got the fastest lap so we actually are running up uh, pretty quick um, or the uh, car in front of us is struggling he just managed to get away when the, all the cars were grouped up let's see if we can just get a little bit faster through there it's not quick on this lap at the moment looking at the split times we are running slightly slower we've got to try and improve through these sections and really far it through here open the car out come on let's really really start pushing it we want to catch up if we can we've only got a few laps left oh don't come off the track right onto the curb just being the cars just sliding around as i'm trying to uh, find the grip and I'm managing just to hold it through there and I think the car in front is starting to pull away again after us losing a bit of time at the start of this third lap. So we're going to have to try and push this car a little bit more into the, into the remaining laps. Otherwise, we're not going to catch up. Uh, it'd be nice to get a win in this car if we can. Right, let's try and get through here a little bit quicker. Just trying to be a little bit careful that we don't lose it. We've had a good start to this race. And uh, this has been a good experience. This car definitely sounds awesome. It doesn't feel too too bad once, like I said, you've got the grip. It's just a little bit uh, uh, unstable, under braking and out of the slow corners. Uh, definitely would need a bit of a decent setup on it, but uh, that will come in the, uh, in the future. We're going to just try and just check out all the cars on the Jap Japanese pack. I think in the next uh, episode, we're going to try the other M um, at Mazda MX-5. And then we've got the Skyline to try out. And I think we've got the RX-7. So we have got a few to try out. I hope you enjoyed the first one in that MX-5 Cup. Because that was a really fun race around Silverstone National. And we've actually recovered on that lap. So we actually gained a bit of time towards the end. So that was definitely a bet on the second half of that third lap. Let's see if we can go into this fourth lap and carry on improving. And we definitely closed down the gap. And yes, we've got the fastest time again. So I'm not sure what sort of lap times the car in front is doing so he must be doing uh, around the 158s um because he's not I don't, he hasn't come up with the, the only fastest lap he came up with was on the first lap i think and uh, that was obviously not the right sort of time because obviously it's the first lap and you're starting off the grid so it's all, not always going to be the quickest but from the second lap we've had the quickest we're not sure what sort of lap times he's putting in but we've just lost a bit of time through that section let's try and just uh, recover get nice and tight as soon as you find the grip around this corner then you can just accelerate um, for the first experience on this circuit it's actually quite a decent circuit this would definitely suit the smaller uh, more nimble vehicles around here with a bit more grip definitely have a go a few more races around here it's definitely a fun uh, circuit so uh, I don't know why I've missed this one out um, just I, you always tend to with the career mode you stick to it it's all focused on a lot of the main circuits the gp circuits and these ones sort of like get missed out but these can be like hidden gems really good fun to drive and uh, yeah it, it just sort of reminds me a bit like hadwell park where it's really narrow got some long straights tight corners difficult chicanes yeah it's definitely a good circuit so we're definitely going to do some more races around it and we've gained another half a second so we are improving lap by lap so this is a really really good uh last couple of laps let's see if we can go to that fifth, fifth oh god a bit of tire smoke there so even the ai are struggling uh, to control this car which is good to see it's, we just hope the game fixes how aggressive they can be if they sort that out that would be awesome because they do tend to ruin a lot of your races I've had a few in the last couple of days where I've just had to bite my lip um, but uh, let's see if we can get him on this lap so we've gained a bit of time on him early on to this lap and again we've got in another fastest uh, lap so we are absolutely flying and uh, we're improving we're getting the hang of the car it is a little bit unstable it's not the most uh, grounded vehicle I must admit uh, but when you've got nearly 700 brake horsepower, a turbo, uh, you know, you can have trouble. And so, but uh, if you've ever been in a uh, Toyota Supra, they used to be awesome cars back in the day. Uh, I definitely would like one more updated version one uh, with a no, like race kit on. It would be awesome. They sound awesome. They look awesome. Right, let's see if we can get him on this section. We're getting really, really close now. Let's see if we can get up the inside, can we? No, couldn't get him there. But we're definitely getting closer. We're going to have to take an opportunity. Can we slide past him in this corner? Oh, that's just slide down the side. Oh, 
Oh God, we just touched sides there, but not much, too much contact. And we've managed to get past him, but can we hold on to it? Let's see if we get nice and tight on the curve. Traction control's kicking in as I'm trying to accelerate out the corner. And we're managing to pull away, and we timed that perfectly. So we're in the lead on the remaining couple of corners of this circuit. Right, let's just not muck it up and see if we can finish this. Slow it down. Oh, that was really tough there. Almost lost it, but managed just to hold it into that corner. We've only got a couple more corners, but he's right behind me. So we've got to make sure we don't make any mistakes in, the, in these remaining corners. Right, let's just slow it down here. Keep it nice and tight. And that's about it, guys. I think we can win it from here. Uh, let's just drive it around the corner as soon as we feel the grip. And we didn't lose much tyre wear in this race, which has been absolutely brilliant. But there you go, guys. Our first experience of the Toyota Supra around this Netherlands circuit ends up being a win. And that is brilliant. So that's the second vehicle that we've tried from the Japanese car pack, and I've enjoyed both of them. Please give this video a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate all the support. Also, I'm going to leave you a replay of the last lap for you to enjoy. Plus, let me know in the comments below what your favourite vehicle was from the Japanese car pack. What sort of uh, tracks you tried them on. Anything you needed to adjust, just let me know, guys. And I will see you soon for some more racing here on this channel. And I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.